So we have all been there. Yes, we've got on our lawnmower for the first time of the year and it will not start. In this video, we are going to show you three really simple things to check and try to see why your ride on lawnmower is not starting. So if you just got your mower out for the first time this year, you've got in your garage and it won't start, or even you may have just bought a new one, a brand new one, or even a used one, and you've got onto the machine and think, yeah, right, I'm going to go and mow my lawn, but you can't remember what you were told of how to start it. There's a procedure, there's things you need to do to make it start. And in this video, we're gonna show you the three Bs. Yes, the three Bs that you need to check to make sure you can start your mower properly. Let's go. So number one, and the first B, yes, I'm buzzing for it, is your bum. Yes, your backside. You need to make sure that you are firmly planted on this seat, not the front, not on the side, make sure you're planted nice and square in the middle because there's a sensor underneath which tells the mower that you're sat on there nice and comfy and nice and safely. What you'll find with some mowers is they're really, really sensitive. So if you are sat on the front, they're not actually depressing that sensor underneath. So make sure you can move some seats forward and back, make sure it's in the right position. So make sure you're sat down there nice and squarely. Let's move on to number two. So the second one should be quite obvious because I'm rolling backwards. Yes, it's your brakes. So before you try and start your mower, make sure you've got your brake pedal depressed down. And also, you can put your handbrake on. So at least you know that is in exactly the right position before you try and start it. The mower, again, has got a sensor on that brake to make sure that that mower is stationary before you try and start it. So different mowers have different braking systems. Yes, like this Countax here has a handbrake. So before you start it, that has got to be right up there. It's not a foot brake. If you're on a stick steer machine, you know, a zero turn machine where you've got the steering sticks rather than a steering wheel, they've got to be pushed right out before we'll be able to start because that again tells the machine that it's in the park position. Let's move on to number three. Right, so the third B is the most important, the most common reason people can't start their mowers. It's the most common reason we get calls saying, my lawnmower won't start, what can I do? Well, the third B is blades. Yes, exactly. You say, hang on a minute, I don't need blades to start my mower, but they do need to be turned off. So what you'll find on mowers is they've either got a button you press to turn the blades on and off, or they've got a lever to turn the blades on and off. And again, that's got a sensor on it. So on this particular machine, we've got a button right there where that is on and off. If you see now, if I turn the key, nothing happens. I'm sat on the seat, the brake is pressed in, that's 1B, 2B, 3B, turn the blades off. Exactly, it starts cranking because the blades were engaged. So you can't start a mower with the blades already engaged. So many people with new mowers, they get a mower, they go out and use it, cool. Before they turn the blades off, they just turn everything off on the key. It's not the right way to do it. You gotta turn the blades off first. But if you get on a mower and it won't start, that's the most common thing to check to make sure your blades are turned off. Let's have a look at some different examples. On more basic machines, what you'll find is they've got a lever rather than a button, like this little cub cadet. So to engage your blades, that pushes down. It works in exactly the same way as the button does. But again, if I now brakes in, I'm sat on the seat, the key is not working. Turn the key off, disengage the blades. There we go. So make sure your lever's disengaged. So again, another lever design on this Husqvarna front deck machine. You've got a lever there. So when you pop that button down, that engages your blades. So again, pop the brake in. I'm sat on the seat, turn the key, nothing happens. I pull it up, disengage it, and we're off. Make sure it's up. So there we are, let's round up. The three Bs are your bum on the seat, your brake depressed, and your blades turned off. So let's put it into practice. I'm sat on the seat, my brake's in, my blades are off, give a little bit of choke, and we're away. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, we'll see you in the next one.